One of the pitfalls um, that I find uh, a little unfortunate and a little bit heartbreaking is when you're talking through the process um, with somebody who's exploring running for office and when you talk about um, the realities that you're going to face and you're trying to see if um, based on the issue or the, prop the value proposition they want to bring to their voters, to government, and you, I have decided that this person is awesome and they're going to be great, and that um, at the end of the day when they've waited it out, um, when they decide that they're not going to do it um, because they feel like because they've decided they're not big enough or that they probably can't change the world. Um, because it's, it's actually that act of bravery and putting yourself out um, is, is so critical to, like, it makes it possible. It is, it is the art of the possible. And so the, um, the number of times I have worked with people who, or, or been in community with people who um, are like, ah, oh, but I would have been such a great mayor. Why didn't I run for mayor? Or, or, or I say to them, like, you were in the right spot. That could have been yours. Why didn't you put yourself out there? And they're like, they've been waiting for someone to tap them on the shoulder and ask them, waiting for someone else to externally validate that they are the they are the right person and they could do it. Um, and people just believing that they're smaller than they are. Uh, but I think that when your values are aligned, when your heart's in the right place, um, when you're passionate about something, um, that that is infectious and that pulls together the team and that's actually how we cha change the course of history. Um, in, um, in 2014, I worked on the Liberal campaign in Toronto Danforth, which was uh, Jack Layton's, um, the NDP stronghold, it was Jack Layton's riding. I think and if you look at what pundits from coast to coast to coast were saying about that riding uh, was that um, regardless of what the entire electorate did in the whole country, that um, Toronto Danforth would probably remain an NDP riding, that there was nothing that was going to shift that. And then there were people who speculated, well, like, maybe that, that riding could be a liberal riding if, if you had a superstar candidate. Um, and the sitting member of parliament in Toronto Danforth right now is Julie DeBrusen. And she has um, got in incredibly smart, a ton of integrity, deep community roots, tremendously authentic. And I can tell you that going into the election, if you didn't, if you didn't live in, in her actual part of the riding, her neighborhood, you probably didn't know who she was. And, and she won that election. She worked really hard. She was relentless. She was committed. Um, her family had her back on it. And, you know, it's cold and rainy in the fall. And I said, you got to knock on 30,000 doors. And she went out every day and knocked on 30,000 doors. Like, and, and that's actually how you pull it off. It's, 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 n it's, it's kind of insanely simple, but it's, it's the hard work that delivers the win. Um, and sometimes you just got to take the risk if you really believe in the cost.